a significant portion of the senior royals arrived at Westminster Abbey on Wednesday morning for last rehearsals as the royal family gets ready for King Charles's coronation on Saturday. However, Princess Charlotte, who turned eight yesterday, stole the show as she made her way to the London church ahead of King Charles and Camilla. The young princess, who was clad in a white cardigan over a blue flowery dress, was seen in a number of pictures strolling towards the door while appearing at ease. Also there were her brothers, Prince George, the second in line to the throne, and the infant Prince Louis, both of whom were dressed in navy suits. Mum Kate matched with her eldest son by donning a long-sleeved Elkie Bennett monochrome midi dress, while Prince William looked dapper in a blue suit. The Wales family, together with other senior royals like Charles and Camilla and Princess Anne, took part in one of the final rehearsals for Saturday's historic event. The family was joined for the rehearsals by two of Camilla's grandsons, who will be among the honor pages at the coronation. One of the eight young individuals selected that day to fulfill the particular role is George. On this particular day, the king will be attended upon by a total of four pages, who will also carry his robes as he enters and leaves Westminster Abbey. George will be one of these pages. She will receive the same courtesy from the other four, who are all Camilla's family members. The hare, who will be the youngest member of the family, was given a prominent role since one day he will succeed his father as king and preside over his own coronation. His father and grandmother knew that he would be the youngest member of the family. Everyone seemed happy and at ease as they arrived, greeted churchgoers, and entered the abbey. Rishi Sunak even took time away from his duties as prime minister to attend the coronation rehearsals just one day after he welcomed the king at Westminster Hall. A separate coronation rehearsal that took place overnight featured a march by thousands of Army, Navy, and RAF personnel from Buckingham Palace via Trafalgar Square and Downing Street to Westminster Abbey. The King and Queen will both ride in the Diamond Jubilee State Coach and the Gold State Coach during their processions to and from Westminster Abbey on Coronation Day, and both coaches were paraded down the mall shortly after midnight as part of the preparations. The first will be used to enter the abbey before the ceremony, and the second will be used to leave after it. During the march, the troops carried a number of instruments, such as saxophones, trumpets, horns, and cymbals, but only the drums were played until they were about to make their way back down the mall at around 3 a.m. The soldiers had full military uniforms. Bagpipes started playing outside Buckingham Palace shortly around 2.30 a.m., providing liveliness to the generally quiet evening environment. While Big Ben chimed and soldiers paraded through Parliament Square, soldiers were seen in other parts of the capital practicing position changes. The ceremonial guns were being practiced by soldiers as artillery units moved about on horses. Just hours before the rehearsal, a man is said to have thrown suspected shotgun cartridges onto the grounds and was detained outside Buckingham Palace. A cordon was set up and a controlled explosion was carried out after the event, which happened on Tuesday at around 7.15 p.m. suspected of possessing a hazardous weapon, the man was taken into custody. Due to the lack of any reports of injuries, police are not examining the incident as having any ties to terrorism.